I s stay with the job I have. And I get a new job, I stay where I was, um, with a job that doesn't necessarily pay a lot, but at least pays enough to get me through and survive the year 2023. I survived the year 2023. I passed driving school, got a license, got a car. I survived 2023, and I'm not even sure how. Like, this year feels like an unachieved year because yeah, I did so much I achieved so much, but why? Why does it feel like an unachieved year? I mean I, I've i done so much uh, I got my license I, I took a huge step of getting my own car, getting my license overcoming the fear of the road that I had and actually driving again and then I've already taken that car out by myself multiple times, three, four times. I am fine on the road by myself. And that was a huge step, but I still feel underachieved. Or accomplished of this year. I took over an organization at my work and ran it almost perfectly, yet I still feel underachieved and like I didn't accomplish anything during that. I have two kids who are failing every single class except for my class. They're both in 8th grade and maybe that's why I feel underachieved. Maybe that's why I feel like I haven't really done anything worth bragging about this year. Because I haven't done everything yet. Maybe I need to do everything, achieve everything, and then I can feel achieved, you know? I feel accomplished. I'm not saying this year was easy. I'm not saying this year was hard. It just felt like an unaccomplished and unachieved year. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that, that 2023 was a hard year for them. And I, I get it. You know, if something's hard, nobody wants things to be hard, but you can't change that. If something's hard, it's going to be hard. If something's easy, it's going to be easy. And nobody wants things to be easy. Nobody thinks things to be hard. It's something to be right and simple enough so it's not a full on challenge for them. My family does this thing where they, they don't always do it, but when we think about it and there's nothing else to talk about but that, so if somebody thinks about it, we can talk about it. Every year we're supposed to come up with one word. That word is our goal for the year. Anytime anybody catches the other person not reaching for their goal, we call them out, stop them, and they fix it. And so she turns the goal again. I don't have a word yet. I have more of a sentence, a phrase for my goal this year. You know, people pick kindness, happy, honesty, even organize. My phrase for the year 2024. My whole life, I've been. pertains to be somebody I'm not. Just somebody I want to be in the future. And, in, and not just being who I was right now. But I have it who I am right now, so not just be who I am right now and stop trying to convince everybody, convince myself that I'm somebody I'm not. There's no word for that, that I found yet. When I find it, when I find the right word, I'll use it. But for now, it's a phrase, it's a sentence. And 
my sentence, my phrase for the year 2024 is being true to who I am. Happy New Year's, everybody. Next step is my resolution. Technically, resolution is goal. But everybody has more than one, right? Thank you all so much for watching. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. If you like what you saw, I want to see more. Good love and let me know. Thanks again, as always. I'll see you all next one. Bye bye. You know how much it hurts. I want to stop this pain in my heart. I guess.